You ready? Uh, you ready? Let's go All right, so here we go with the start of this fight. I'm anxious, man. What a matchup it is, and it's going to be interesting. And it's going to be interesting to see who has the upper hand early. It's going to be difficult to find out how this plays out, right? Striker versus well-rounded fighter. Who's going to be the one that's going to control where this fight takes place? Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Well, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Lee gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. There's no give on that leg kick. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Can't take many of those, you better check. Straight right hand now, just misses. Oh, that straight punch is gonna be a real problem if they can't make the adjustment. A real problem. He needs to move his head defensively if he's gonna avoid getting hit so many times to the face. Unable to connect there. He got that knee to connect to the body, and if you're the defensive fighter here, you gotta make sure you don't eat too many more of those. You cannot eat too many. You gotta get the elbows inside, because otherwise, he's gonna land one that's gonna shut everything down. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. All right, two minutes now to go in the round. Oh, nice kick right there. Tell the masses how how good that feels to get kicked like that. John, it does. <laughs> it doesn't feel good to get kicked like that. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch him punch, I just put a smile on my face. Right under the elbow, the body keep lands. Lee's strike attempt there is blocked. Final miss. Oh, beautiful knee to the body by him there. Again, we talked off the top about his size advantage, and he put it to good use there. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. Beautiful straight punch there. His boxing fundamentals are just so clean. Oh, he looks so sharp tonight. Oh, that's a hell of a kick right there. He told us Thursday that he was going to be kick heavy tonight, and that is certainly a step in the right direction. He is landing that strike very effectively. All right, well, his kicking game was outstanding in that round. We'll see if his opponent can make the adjustments, but take us through the replays before we get there. It's always weird to watch a young fighter start to come into his own. Early in his career, he did not have this ability. He did not have the ability to dictate and control fights with his legs. Now he does, and he looks like a future champion in the making. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next round. High number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going. He'll look to keep winning the fight with his kicks. He's throwing high kick, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. Oh, nice job to land the straight punch there. Must be nice to have that kind of reach advantage, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may flow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Oh, so the taller fighter lands a flush knee. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one up? He lands the head kick. Put your hands up higher. Come on. Just misses with the straight right. Whoa! He's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. to throw at the 
exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. Little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Big power punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Big power shot there. Just misses with the jab there. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Head kick lands. Punch over the top. Oh, and he gets tagged. Beautiful combination there, and I'm not sure how many more of those power shots he can take, honestly. The night is almost over. If you keep getting hit with punches like this, you are going to sleep. And both guys really throwing with authority. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Just misses there with the left. Look at him drive his shin into his own body with that body kick. All right, so let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action, but the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed that put him on wobbly legs and then survival mode. Luckily, he made it to the end of that round. All right, next round is now underway. Do you see any major takeaways after the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are very evenly matched. The matchmakers did a fantastic job when they put these two in the octagon. So even though it wasn't crazy, you got to see high-level mixed martial arts. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Went for the inside leg kick. Ooh, what a head kick. Oh, really using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. Nice leg kick. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Big kick lands. Back and forth we go. Nice head kick. Yet another knee finds the target. So a huge moment here. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. That's a big strike right there. Ooh, head kick lands and he's hurt. Connects with a right. All right, well, it's late in the fight. Time is of the essence. And when you're clearly losing and you know you need a finish, Risk management goes out the window. Oh, yeah. No more risk management. Either get knocked out or you knock him out. One way or the other, you're going to lose. You can lose by decision or you can lose by knockout. But at least... Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. Both guys landing with conviction now. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing for... Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, straight right. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Big punch land. Ooh. What a body kick. Oh, man. This is one thing you, you do not want to get kicked in the head of take too many of those head kicks, but this guy gets his leg up there so fast, sometimes you don't see it coming. 
All right, so the fight goes the distance. We'll take a look back at the action, but should go his way given all he got done in the striking game. Yeah, he did a great job of landing at will, mixing up the target, doing everything that he's become known for in order to cruise to a very good decision. I know he didn't get the finish that he wanted so bad.